This is the Nutra Chopper. It's an As Seen on TV food chopper advertised in 2019. And this is the Vidalia Chop Wizard. It's an As Seen on TV food chopper which was advertised as far back as 2006. Can the new guy hang with the old one? Let's find out in today's comparison. All right, here's a quick overview of the contents. This is the main unit itself. You have these two are which are upper blades. You have a lower blade. Uh, this is a lower blade holder and you have the container with the lid. These can actually be combined so you have multiple possibilities. So it's pretty versatile. Here are the contents of the Vidalia Chop Wizard. You have two different blades for dicing and this is a little handle to clean off the excess. Not as elaborate, but a little bit larger. So let's see how it stacks up. As soon as I saw the Nutra Chopper, it reminded me immediately of the Vidalia Chop Wizard, which has been around, according to Google Trends, since about 2006. The area you have to work with the cut is much smaller on the Nutra Chopper versus the Vidalia Chop Wizard. This is about two and a half inches square. This is about three and a quarter, which means that you're gonna have to cut some of your items down to fit on here. And this one as well, but not quite as much. We've got a lot to cut up, so let's get started. First contestant is a cucumber, which I've already sliced the ends off because that's what you have to do on these kind of items. Both of them recommend cutting off the ends. Now first I'm going to do just slicing. So for slicing, I've got to put this bottom holder in there like that and then the upper slicing blade and there it is. All right, so I have to cut this down kind of far. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it probably about an, to a quarter of it. Now the other thing is the instructions say to use two hands at all times, not to use one hand. So that's how it should come out. Oh, I <laughs> didn't expect it to snap out like that. But hey, it can actually cut pretty well. Look at this, nice, nice perfect cucumber slices, very uniform. Now what I'm gonna do is reconfigure this for dicing, which I take that bottom one out, I take the lower section blade, the upper blade like that. So now you have the dicing blade, pretty cool. And well, a little bit more pressure. Ugh. Oh, wow. Oh, that actually pinched my hand right there, pinched it. But let's see what we got. These, uh, these look pretty good. They're very uniform. It was a lot of hand pressure to push that through there though. So I'm not sure that that would be uh, ideal for everybody. Now the Vidalia does not have slicing in the original unit. I think the later ones do, but I wanted to go with the original $20 model. So we only have two different options for dicing and we're gonna try both of them. So I'm gonna just cut this remaining part in half right here. 2006, representing. Whoa. Very little effort because I'm able to press down and I have a lot more leverage. And let's see how that came out. Pretty good. All right, what I'm gonna do now is just switch blades. And because I have such a large container here, I'm just gonna keep going. These are much smaller pieces. I, I don't know if I've ever diced a cucumber this small before. Look how small they are. Very small, but let's try anyways. Ah, much less effort than the Nutra Chopper. Much less. And there we go, look at this. I think that my diet was a little bit better because I, it took a little bit less effort and I could do bigger pieces. So I think I might give the edge to the Vidalia for round number one. Let's try a green apple next. Now, both instructions tell you that you're supposed to use a flat surface by cutting it in half. First, I'm gonna put the wedge attachment in the Nutra Chopper right there. I'm gonna create some nice apple wedges. But here's the thing, obviously you can't fit the entire thing in there, there's no way. Even if I cut it in half, I don't think it's gonna fit though. And uh, it's too big, so I'm gonna have to cut this down even more, which, you know, at that point, you, how much cutting do you wanna do before this becomes too much work? With the Vidalia, uh, an entire apple would fit, but they do say to cut it to a flat edge, so I cut it in half, cut the core out, and I think that's gonna work. I guess I'll just cut it in another quarter and let's see what happens. I mean, at this point, how much cutting do you have to do I mean, I'm not gonna get full wedges out of that. Do you have to have a really small apple? I don't know. All right, well, hey, I got, they're very small wedges. They're like triangular wedges. There's, I mean, there's no way you can do that. Maybe if I cut the sides off, that'd be better wedges. Let's just try that. At this point, I've done so much chopping, I could have just chopped it up. 
But I think we've got the right size now for the wedges. That's good. Well, I love the way it ejects it out of there. That's really cool though. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I could try slicing it, but I don't think I could dice it because they say not to use hard vegetables when using the lower slicing blade and this apple's pretty hard, so I don't think I can really use that. It says you're, you risk damaging it if you use hard vegetables on the lower slicing blade. Let me just try slicing it. I'm gonna have to kind of go at a slight angle for this quarter of this, this apple. Ugh. Ugh. Pinched my finger again. I pinched it. I got the cool ejection uh, effect though, but I know that these are not bad. These are actually pretty good. Pretty good slices. Now that's the one thing is the Vidalia cannot slice. It can only dice. So that's gonna be one detriment to that one. But on the other hand, it seems like you don't have to use as much force. It's time for the Vidalia Chop Wizard. Now I've got a, a half of an apple. Don't have to cut this down other than just in half. So let's see if, see if it's better. And, uh oh, I'll get some, I gotta use some force here. Ugh. Whoa. All right, well, there was definitely some force involved. And here's what we got. Pretty good. Do I dare try the small dicing? I don't even know if you can do it on this. Look how small these are gonna be. I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> here we go. Ah. I don't know if it's designed for this or not. I feel like I'm gonna break it. It's going, it's just going slow. <laughs> Whoa, they're all still stuck on here. I'm gonna say that uh, the Vidalia did not do as well on the small, did well on the larger ones. Not as well on this one, because now I have, to, I have to get these off. I don't even know how to get those off. This is a tough one because I think they, the Vidalia smoked it as far as the dicing goes versus the wedge, is because the wedge I had to cut down too much. But I think that the uh, Nutri Chopper probably did better on the, on the slicing. This one, the small dicing, just not, not even feasible. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna give a very slight edge to the Nutri Chopper for the apples, <laughs> reluctantly because I'm not only really impressed by either one of them. This one took a lot of force, even with the bigger dicing, so I don't know. I'm gonna say Nutri Chopper edges out the Vidalia on the apples. Let's try a couple of potatoes, but hey, I gotta peel these first. Didn't I just do a potato peeler comparison recently? Yes, I did. Pull out the alumni here at the Rotato Express and peel these things. How cool is that, huh? It doesn't get old. I still love this thing. Thank you, Rotato Express. Now, because the potato's hard, I'm not gonna use the lower blade on this one. I'm not gonna use a small dicing blade, so I'm just gonna do a couple of different options here. That will fit there. Let's see if I can do it. I'm gonna try just regular slices on this one. And, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, I pinched my hand again. <laughs> I pinched my hand again. Uh, let's see what we got. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. These sliced potatoes remind me a little bit of a device my dad had back in the 70s called the Kitchen Magician where you would turn a crank. He used to love that thing, but I digress. Let me try this for potato wedges now. It does fit, so let's see what we got. Here we go, oh, it's going through. It's going through, don't pinch my finger this time. Ah, oh, I did pinch my finger again. Hey, these are pretty nice potato wedges. I, I'm kind of feeling it, I like it. I think the Nutri Chopper did a pretty good job on the potatoes. Not bad at all. Let's see what we got here. All right, well, oh, these are nice little potato wedges. You can't dice with the Nutri Chopper. You can't wedge with the Vidalia. This one is able to handle the entire potatoes. I don't know. I think I'm gonna call this one a tie. All right, now for my favorite food, not really, of all time, let's try some onions. The Nutri Chopper, I'm gonna try slicing and dicing because they show, I think, both in the commercial for that. We got our two blades in there for uh, dicing. All right, so the, the full onion won't fit on there. I mean, it does rest in there, but it goes outside of the edges, there's no way. So I'm gonna have to probably cut this in half or quarter it or something to get it to fit through there, which is a bit disappointing because if it was just a little bit larger, 
like this, the entire onion would fit like that, but it doesn't. I guess if you're going to use this, you're going to have to just get a really small onion or be prepared to chop them up. I'll cut the ends off. It fits in there barely, but let's see what we got here. Onion dicing, take one. Not too much pressure now. Oh, oh it just kind of stopped. I think I hit a brick wall. You might need to exercise uh, your grip if you're going to be doing this. I can get it. Smooth as silk. Just came right out, didn't it? That onion just exploded out of there. It's like all over the table here now. I'm gonna take the lower blade out and just go with the slicer and see if that's a little bit better. Oh my, I'm starting to feel my eyes now. I gotta hurry up. Oh, much easier, much easier. Not good for dicing, pretty good for slicing. They both look good, but the, the dicing was just too much force. Let's try the Vidalia Chop Wizard now. I'm not even gonna try the sl small blade on this one because it's pretty disastrous with the apple and I don't think it'd be much better, but let's try the the bigger dicing blade with the medallia. There we go. Another one smooth as silk. These are very nicely uh, done, but I only have one option and that was kind of hard. I do think that, and I didn't have to cut it. I'm not, honestly, I'm not real impressed with either one from, as far as onions goes. I don't think either one deserves to win. I'm going to give it a tie for both of them on this one and tie for being not so great. Now I've got this this onion smell on my hands. It's time for my bar of steel soap to get rid of the smell. If you've never seen that video, I'll link it above and below. After that, we'll move on to the next thing. Next up is a tomato. I'm really curious about this one because is it gonna smash through there and just create a bunch of slop or is it gonna be nicely sliced? Let's find out. First up, Nutri Chopper. I'm gonna start off with just the slicer some sliced tomatoes. It looks like it's gonna be a little bit too wide. Still hanging over, I gotta cut the edge off that as well. Here we go. You know, hey, I will say that this came out way better than I expected. These are actually pretty good slices. Now they're kind of, kind of small slices, but they, they came out pretty good. I'm impressed. Let's try dicing it. And, oh, I felt a lot of juice come out of there. I guess it's kind of diced. Kind of. I got some hanging on the end here. Not a 10, but not a, but not a zero either. Let's try the Vidalia. Now, once again, I'm not even gonna bother with this one because I can already guarantee that's gonna be mush if it comes out. So for versatility, the Vidalia is not as robust as the Nutri Chopper, but on the other hand, the Nutri Chopper doesn't have this, the size capacity that the Vidalia does. I'm gonna make it quick and painless. And, oh, it felt very squishy. It felt very squishy. Let's see. Oh no. Oh, it's on my shirt. Oh no. Oh man, that's that's not good. I might have, have a, a wardrobe malfunction or something here. Look at this. Oh, I got juice everywhere. Oh, the Vidalia failed. Oh, I'm very disappointed. Definitely give the edge to the Nutri Chopper on this one. That tomato wasn't too soft. I don't know. All I know is that I gotta change my shirt. All right, new shirt now. I've got two more tests to do. Next up, do hard boiled eggs. First up, Nutri Chopper and the slicer. And this time I'm gonna use the container that comes with it so you can see how that works. Let's put one on here and see how it goes. This should be easy, right? Oh, wow, boom. Very nice. Look how nice those slices are. Let me switch blades and try the, uh, the dicing. Here we go. Ooh, hey, that, that came out good too. And now all I have to do is get it off of here. Come on. All right. Now all I have to do is put the lid on it and it's ready to go in the fridge. I do like that. Very nice. But let's see what the Vidalia has to say about that. We're going to try the large dicing blade first. Very simple. Very effective. Small blade. 
Hey, that one did good too. They both, they both did a great job on this one. Another thing about the Vidalia is you can actually, there's actually measuring on the side there. You've got cups on one side, milliliters on the other. They both did a really good job on the egg. No complaints about that. I consider the egg to be a tie. And last but not least, let's see how it does with some nice cheese. I've pre-cut this so it will definitely fit in the Nutri Chopper. And, okay, it's going easily, somewhat easily. It's taking a little bit of pressure. Ugh. Oh, there we go. Pretty good, pretty good. What do you guys think? Pretty good? Not bad. You can't use the smaller blade for hard items, so I'm pretty much stuck with slices and wedges, which I'm not gonna do wedges on cheese. Next up is the Vidalia Chop Wizard, and let's see how it does. Okay. Oh, it's like stuck. Look at this, it's stuck. It's actually stuck. Here, well, here's what we got. It's kind of stuck in there, stuck on there. Man, I don't know, guys. After you push it through, it looks pretty good. Hmm. This is a tough one. This one got a little bit stuck, but it does, it, you could do a lot more at the same time, though. It's close. It's really close. I don't think there's a significant difference, so I'm gonna call it a tie. In both cases, you kind of have no choice. With a Nutri Chopper, you're gonna get slices. With a Vidalia, you're gonna get dices. And you can't really do the opposite in either one. All right, so let's do a quick recap here, looking at the final results. For round number one, the cucumber, I gave the edge to the Vidalia Chop Wizard. Second round, I gave it to the Nutri Chopper on the apples. Potato, I think they tied. They were both decent at that one. The onion, I didn't give a point to either one of them because neither one was very good. The tomato, the Nutri Chopper did better because the Vidalia was kind of a disaster. And the eggs and the cheese were both a tie. That gives a one point advantage to the Nutri Chopper. <laughs> But there are two reasons you might change your mind about this. They could be deal breakers for you. Number one is the capacity. The Vidalia has a much bigger capacity and you can fit larger items in there. So if, on this one, you do have to cut them down more. And as far as the versatility goes, this one has more blades than the Vidalia does. Although there's later models of the Vidalia that are more expensive. I think there's a, a plus version two out. Look into the new Vidalia because it's about 30 bucks and it has an extra blade and a different cleaning mechanism, which might put it above this one. But as far as the original Vidalia goes, a slight, slight edge to the Nutri Chopper. Have you guys used a Nutri Chopper or the Vidalia? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures, videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White. Speaking of news.